Okay, uh, if you're looking to try to get citizenship by investment using the donation option, uh, you're probably past that point because of where we're at right now because they're going to go up on the fees. So we're in uh, after Christmas and you're looking at uh, they're going up 45000 If you're looking at a family of more than one person, one person's not going to make any difference uh, on the actual government fee increase. So uh, you, you would be okay if you're just looking at one person, but if you're looking for a group of more than one, you're looking at a 45,000 US dollar increase as of January the 1st. Now, if you're still interested in that, you'd have to really rush and I'd have to check. I don't even know, how, uh, uh, you could do it, but it'd be, you'd have to really be rushing like really fast to get it done because you have to get notarizations done and all this. If you miss that though, no problem. Uh, We've got uh, a program, some of y'all have seen this, some have not. Uh, we, we've had an a individual seller and then we had uh, uh, a developer. Uh, the seller, we've already sold his property, but the um, individual developer, he's presenting a uh, really unique opportunity. So if you miss the, uh, you know, the donation option with the Sustainable Growth Fund, there is an option where you can actually uh, go with the real estate option, just pay for the real estate, and uh, only because they because the coronavirus period here right here, this has uh, never been done before other than that individual owner, which we've already sold his, but uh, they're wanting to move some properties. If you want a really good deal, the, the time to do it is when you're getting deals like this, where they're going to actually pick up your government fees, your background check fees, and your legal fees. That's the majority of all your fees outside the real estate. And that, that's a huge plus. So you're basically pay, paying pretty much just the, uh, the, the property, and that's it. Uh, and so if you're looking for a great option, uh, this is a real good one. And you're actually getting a, a pretty good price per square foot, uh, even with that, um, even if you had to come in and pay for everything, but they're picking up all these other fees. Man, that's making a huge difference uh, if you're looking to get citizenship. Now, how many he's going to have before they're sold out, I don't know, but I'll tell you, uh, we have not had another developer that's done this. So if you're looking to try to get all those fees picked up, and remember, if you've got a family of you know four or five or six or three or whatever, you can pay a lot of money. You're looking at fifty to one hundred fifty thousand, um, you know, in fees and stuff with a family, and you're cutting back on those fees, man. That, that's a lot. That's a huge savings. But this is only going to be until he sells out those units. So um, if you want a real good deal, this is the time to do it. Also, folks, if you want to legally learn how to get your taxes to zero, how to get a second passport as quick as 45 days, do three things. Hit the subscribe button. The right of your screen, you'll get new videos automatically as they come out. And number two is I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below. And number three is go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com, and ask for some help. All right, now, I'm up on a hilltop here. This is overlooking uh, Frigate Bay here. I'm at the top of the, uh, the hill going towards the southeast peninsula. This is an incredible view up here. Uh, and I'm looking, this is Frigate Bay, what you're seeing right here. This is uh, Frigate Bay all looking at And if you go back to the, the back of the mountains back there, that's the very back. That's Monkey Hill. Uh, but this is Frigate Bay, what you're seeing right here. And this is South Frigate Bay, just the closest area to, to where this is. And then North Frigate Bay is off in the distance uh, going towards uh, Eustatius. Um, now, to, to give you an idea, uh, in fact, you can actually, you probably can't see it on this video here, but it's so clear this time of year, I can see St. Bart's. It's really rare that you can see it. You probably can't see it in the middle of the camera here. I can see it with a bare eye. But that, that's how close St. Bart's is. You can see it's probably about 50 miles away. Uh, and you've got Antigua, which is on the other side of this mountain here, about 50 miles away, going towards the southeast peninsula there. And But that's St. Bart's. And just to give you an example, uh, and why I'm on this subject with St. Bart's, I think I've mentioned this to you before in other videos, I looked at... Um, just some lots in St. Bart's. It's the most expensive place in the Caribbean. It's more expensive than the Caymans. Bermuda's not in the uh, in the Caribbean. It's in the Atlantic, but it's more expensive than Bermuda. Uh, and it's like a, I mean, you can see it from here. I mean, it's right in the middle of this video here, way off in the distance. I saw lots there back in maybe 10 years ago, 11 years ago, 12 years ago, right in there. Um, and uh, they weren't even oceanfront lots. They were hill hillside lots, you know, overlooking the ocean. Four million U.S. This is for around 10,000, 11,000 square feet. 
This is what they were priced back then. I don't know what they are right now, but this just gives you an idea to know how underpriced St. Kitts is. And you got to remember, St. Bart's is not even a, a pure tax saving. St. Kitts is. And you've got uh, uh, the mountains over here are a lot bigger than they are in St. Bart's. And you got a prettier scenery over here, too. Uh, people just don't, you're not going to realize how good the opportunity here is in real estate until years go by and you're going to kick yourself in the butt for not buying when the prices were low because it's cheaper than Bahamas, the Caymans, Bermuda, British Virgin Islands, all these tax savings that you see in the either uh, Bermuda, like I say, is in the Atlantic or the Caribbean countries that are tax free that are pure tax savings. Uh, St. Kitts has got them all beat on as far as prices go. You know, you can still buy prices here for, you know, 40. 30 40 us a square foot i mean it's incredibly cheap compare that to where you're at now uh but this is not going to last folks they're pushing st kitts big time because no income tax no capital gains tax no estate tax no inheritance tax you got a property tax is 0.20 percent of what you're buying and you got a 29,600 us dollar exclusion before that kicks in with the internet with this pushing all across the world folks it's gonna, um, you're gonna look back and kick yourself in the butt when you see all these people. Because remember, 20 years ago, we didn't have all this internet like we do today. You didn't have all this stuff with YouTube. Uh, you're gonna see this promoted big time and you're gonna look back and kick yourself in the butt for not going in and not just getting the property at a real good deal, but also getting the, uh, the citizenship. Because uh, although I don't think they're gonna do it, but they could close it off. Uh, every single citizenship program that was economic citizenship fast track was all cut down to nothing except for St. Kitts back in the last one pulled out in around 2002 when 9-11 hit. Of course, that was in 2001. And what happened was everybody shut down. Dominica, Grenada, Belize, even St. Vincent used to have a fast track program. Now, Grenada... Dominica came back but what happens if they all close down they don't come back then you're going to have to go through a long drawn out residency by investment program like Panama Paraguay has you know Paraguay advertises three years folks you're not going to get it I've talked to people been there seven 14 years and still have not gotten that passport I was talking to a guy the other day he had applied for a Paraguay passport usually when I say passport he applied for the residency Usually, I see people that go for those passports, they usually don't have that much money, you know. And what happens is they, they find out they end up spending probably as much or more than they would in a citizenship by investment because they get there, they find out they can't work in certain businesses. They can't get the passport in the length of time they wanted. Uh, you know, then they find out they got to relinquish their other passport. You know, th these are things that... Uh, uh, people don't hear about it. and then they go there and they find out things just don't work out and they end up spending a fortune and wasted money. Folks, if you got the money, be sensible. Get a fast track program. That is the best way to go. Then go for the slow track programs, the residency by investment. That way, if you never get that program, it's no big deal. But what's it worth to you to pay ridiculously high taxes in a country trying to wait for residency by investment uh, country to materialize where you can get the passport and then relinquish if you're a U.S. citizen? You don't want that, you know. And if you're from a high tax country like Austria, uh, you know, uh, places like Italy, you know, uh, to, to get out of that tax, you know, you're going to have to move. It's a lot easier for you to get out of that tax. Uh, but if you're if that country's part of the EU, I think it's just a matter of time. They're going to come out with a citizenship by investment taxation, just like uh, the U.S. has got. Uh, my advice is I would be getting out, and if you're going to look for a property option, this is the place, the time to do it is in St. Kitts. You can get some really good deals here now. You can get all your fees paid for, at least with this developer, because there are no other developers doing this right now. Uh, this is the only one, and once it's sold out, uh, I don't see any other ones. I've been here 11 years, and I've never had anybody that's agreed to pay all these except for this developer, and I had one reseller, and that was it. Anyway, if you want to learn more on this, folks, go to our website, www.citizenshipquickly.com. Hit the top bar that says apply with us. Fill out those questions. Hit that bottom bar that says send it to us. We deal with over 100 citizenship by investment, residency by investment countries all over the world. And, folks, don't forget to hit that subscribe button at the bottom of your screen there. You'll get, we got just under 600 videos on things like this is going to help you on your taxes. And I would like to hear from you. If you got a question or comment, just put it below. And I look forward to talking to you on the next video. Take care.